right, in this video, we're gonna be going over the new top five fastest killing guns here in Modern Warfare 2 Season 4 Reloaded. We have a little bit of time before you guys can drop your first nuke before that Season 5 update, and I got you guys with some classes. So if you guys enjoy, drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and those post notifications. Let's get into it. Now, for the first class set, we're gonna take a look at the TAC-56. This weapon is amazing definitely a go-to ar if you're looking for no recoil now for the first attachment we are going to go ahead and rock that demo clean shot grip to utilize that increased sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed definitely a great attachment to run on this assault rifle now for the tuning we are going to be increasing that sprint to fire speed some more at negative 0.19 and do not forget the aim down sight speed increase at negative 0.26 overall a great attachment and tune combo now we are going to utilize a stock and the tv cardinal stock is going to be perfect on this weapon allowing us to have bumped up in walking speed and sprint speed you can't go wrong with this you are going to dominate every single play you come across at medium range and especially longer ranges as well now for the tuning we are going to be bumping up aim walking speed at negative 1.55 and more aim down sight speed at negative 1.81 now, obviously, we're skipping over the optic. The iron sights on this assault rifle are amazing. Some of the cleanest in the entire game. And we're also skipping over the laser because this is simply not going to help us out for a long-range class setup. So, instead, we're jumping to the barrel, and that 17.5-inch Tundra Pro barrel is going to be the way to go here. Bumping up damage range, hit by accuracy, as a nice bonus as well as bullet velocity here this is overall going to make sure this weapon is more consistent at longer ranges once you start rocking this barrel on this gun you literally can't run it without it because it's going to be inconsistent now for the tuning we are going to be increasing that aim down sight speed at negative 0.12 and more recoil steadiness at plus 0.35 overall a great attachment and tune combo now for the muzzle we are going to utilize the komodo heavy here you can't go wrong with this or rocking this weapon loud and proud all we need is that horizontal recoil control to have this weapon literally be a point and shoot laser for the tuning we are going to be increasing that recoil control at plus 0.10 and recoil stabilization at plus 0.44 and finally we are going to utilize the commando foregrip to go ahead and smooth out that recoil pattern giving us stability as well as recoil stabilization now for the tuning don't forget to increase aim walking speed at negative 0.08 and more stabilization at plus 0.59. Once you go ahead and jump in the firing range, you're going to be incredibly happy here because we have a class setup that has a quick ADS. And I mean, look, y'all. <laughs> it's laughable how easy the TAP-56 is at any and all ranges. Now, for the secondary, we are going to go ahead and utilize the FTAC Siege in its submachine gun format kind of a two for one class that appear an ar and smg we have on the sir 160 rear grip for that increased sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed now you don't have to tune this weapon but i'm gonna go ahead and showcase this for you guys for sprint to fire speed increase this to negative 0.32 and aim down sight speed bumped up to negative 0.84 we are gonna utilize the 72 round drum because this weapon has a crazy and i mean a crazy fast fire rate for the barrel, the NST-81 is going to be great, allowing us to have that sound suppression, damage range, hit fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. We can run on their spawn a little quick into the streak, and overall makes this secondary feel more like a submachine gun. Now, for the tuning, we are going to be bumping up damage range at plus 0.23 and more aim walking speed at negative 0.27. So we can essentially walk around aim down sight, ready to win each and every gunfight. Do not forget to rock the FGX D870 laser. On secondaries, I like to go ahead and rock that laser so we can get that faster ADS, stability, and sprint to fire speed in order to go ahead and bump up, you know, this weapon's handling where it should be actually used. For the tuning, we are going to be bumping up aim down sight speed at negative 44.42 and sprint to fire speed at negative 0.06. And then finally, for the stock we have on the Siege wire stock, this is going to essentially transform this pistol into an smg and giving us increased aim walking speed recoil control and sprint speed just a great attachment and for the tuning we are going to be bumping up aim walking speed at negative 1.32 and more aim down sight speed at negative 1.94 once you go ahead and jump in the firing range again you're gonna have a class setup that is going to have a quick ads and no recoil like my normal classes so overall a really good class setup 
we have on the stun grenade proximity mine because they're super good and very easy to get kills great for mgb nukes and for the perks double time scavenger resupply quick fix and for the field upgrades we have pro enabled with munitions box and dead silence overall a fantastic class you guys cannot go wrong with now for setup number two we're taking a look at the cast off 762 the two shot god gun here in this game even after all of its nerfs this weapon is still capable of getting two shot kills unlike the 74u which honestly it's still a good ar but this is definitely the big daddy of the two for the first attachment the true tech grip is going to be a great choice bumping up that sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed you can't go wrong with this make sure you guys go ahead and have this equipped you're going to love it you can run around in the spawn and obviously two tap people with ease for the tuning we are going to be increasing that sprint to fire speed some more at negative 0.16 and aim down sight speed at negative 0.45 now for the stock the cast off rama is going to be the best options there are a lot of new stocks great attachments to run this is simply going to be the best bumping up aim walking speed and sprint speed and we're not going to have any recoil controlling cons which is definitely a massive w for the tuning we are going to be increasing aim walking speed some more at negative 2.09 and do not forget aim down sight speed at negative 1.55 now we are skipping over the optic again because like the tap 56 the cast off 762 has phenomenal iron sights and we're going to be skipping over the laser as well because these are not necessary for the barrel we are going to rock the 342 millimeter socken kl this is overall going to be a great attachment increasing aim down sight speed movement speed as well as hip recoil control as a nice bonus here it's not going to impact this weapon's damage range or the two shot kills for the tuning we are going to be bumping up aim down sight speed at negative 0.35 and more recoil steadiness very important at plus 0.48 now for the muzzle we are going to utilize the sa leveler 50 live we're also rocking this weapon loud and proud because we want to go ahead and remove horizontal and vertical recoil control so we can place those two shots very very accurately for the tuning we are going to be bumping up recoil control some more at plus 0.26 and aim down sight speed at negative 0.59 overall a great attachment and tune combo and then finally for the underbarrel, the FTAC Rip 56 can be a good option, further smoothing out that recoil pattern with stability, hit fire accuracy, as well as recoil stabilization. For the tuning, do not forget to increase aim walking speed at negative 0.34 and more recoil stabilization at plus 0.57. Going to the firing range, we're very happy here because we do have a cast off build. As a quick ADS, you guys can see one, two, we're able to get the two shot kills and the accuracy is very easy to use at longer ranges as well overall a rock solid class setup if i say so myself now for the secondary again the ftac siege in its submachine gun format sir 160 rear grip 72 round drum the nst 81 barrel the d 70 laser as well as that siege wire stock tuning is not necessary on this weapon if you don't want to we have on the stun grenade proximity mine and for the perks double time scavenger resupply quick fix and for the field upgrades, we have Pro Enabled with Munitions Box as well as Dead Silence. Definitely do not go wrong with this. It's going to be amazing on all your builds. So make sure you guys check out this cast off setup. It is phenomenal. Now for class setup number three, we're taking a look at the STB556, aka the AUG. This weapon, again, after all of its buffs, it is finally in the current meta. And it honestly is a very solid assault rifle. Now, the thing is, we're going to be skipping over the rear grips. These are irrelevant on this AR. We're also skipping over the comb. This is not going to help us out. I wish we could rock one of these, but we simply don't have the space. Now, we are going to rock a stock, and the Bruin MX-9 stock is going to be great here. We're taking the stock from the submachine gun and slapping it on the assault rifle, giving us that increased crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed. For the tuning, we are going to be bumping up aim walking speed at negative 0.7 and aim down sight speed at negative 1.55 you cannot go wrong with this now for the optic the chrono mini pro is going to be a great option here we're getting that blue dot sight overall allowing us to take people out very easily at those longer ranges now for the tuning we are going to be increasing that aim down sight speed at negative 2.55 again making sure we can snap on the targets get that first shot and guaranteed that kill with this ar we're skipping over the laser again these are always almost unnecessary on the assault rifles 
but for this build we do have to rock a barrel and we're rocking the long barrel on here the 20 inch bruin s620 to drastically increase damage range build velocity hip fire accuracy as well as recoil control overall making sure we can compete against the tac 56 and other high damage low recoil assault rifles for the tuning we are going to be bumping up aim down sight speed at negative 0.28 and aim walking speed at negative 0.29 overall a great attachment and tune combination here now for the muzzle the echolus 80 is going to be a good choice it's gonna be one of the first ars in this vid that i'm actually recommending running a suppressor on so we can run on their spawn little cookie streak and get those mgb nukes sound suppression bow velocity damage range recoil smoothness overall a fantastic attachment on this assault rifle now for the tuning we are going to be bumping up that velocity at plus 0.81 as well as aim down sight speed at negative 0.86 and finally for the under barrel we are utilizing the commando foregrip which is overall going to be great smoothing out that recoil pattern and for the tuning we are going to be increasing that aim walking speed at negative 0.12 and aim down sight speed at negative 0.77 once you go ahead jump in the firing range again it's going to be a class that is going to have a fast ads and very controllable recoil so it's going to be a great ar to use again to compete against the tac 56. now from in the setup we are going to go ahead and rock that ftac siege in that submachine gun format sir 160 72 round drum the nst the diod as well as the siege wire stock now the stun grenade the proximity mine and the perks with the double time scavenger resupply quick fix combo and the field upgrades pro again with munitions box and dead silence overall a great setup it reminds me a lot of the m4 you can interchange either of those weapons and honestly be good to go now for class setup number four we're taking a look at i just made a video on this because it is amazing the lockman sub man the lockman sub truly is one of the fastest killing smgs in the entire game this class setup is going to be good because we have everything locked down now we are using that tcg 10 the tcg 10 rear grip to have that increased recoil control we got it for the 2d we are going to be bumping up that strength of fire speed to negative 0.32 and we're also going to be utilizing that recoil steadiness at plus 0.26 overall a great attachment to combo here y'all cannot go wrong now for the stock we are rocking that mirror recoil 56 factory stock there's going to be an attachment from the lockman 5560 ar we're putting it on the submachine gun to bump up that stability recoil control and sprint speed as a nice bonus here now for the tuning we are going to be increasing that aim walking speed at negative 1.47 and aim downside speed all the way down to negative four overall a great and easy attachment to tune now we're not running an optic because the iron sights are phenomenal on the submachine gun and we're also skipping over the laser because these are just not going to help us out i wish we could slap one on but we don't have any room now for the barrel we are going to rock that l38 falcon 226 millimeter barrel to increase movement speed and aim down sight speed you can't go wrong here we're going to go ahead and bump up that close range handling allowing us to dish out just ridiculous rounds of lead and just destroy people at close ranges for the 2d we are going to be bumping up aim down sight speed at negative 0.37 and more recoil steadiness at plus 0.23 we're skipping over the muzzle these are going to be irrelevant now we're rocking this weapon loud and proud like i do 99 percent of my submachine guns and we are going to utilize an under barrel which is going to be that shark fin 90 here which is going to be great smoothing out that recoil pattern and offering no cons which is going to be a massive w for any submachine gun build for the tuning we are going to be increasing aim walking speed at negative 0.32 and more stabilization at plus 0.70 and then finally because we do have an open attachment slot we are going to utilize the 40 round magazine overall a great attachment to run on this submachine gun i personally like to run it you can rock the 50 round drum if you feel you need some more ammo or just run a four attachment class if you want a faster ads but honestly with this submachine gun i feel like 40 is going to be mandatory once you go ahead and jump in the firing range again it's going to be a sick class setup because quick ads and it's going to be controllable as well so definitely go ahead and give this a try it is a rock solid submachine gun now again we have the ftac siege two smgs technically at one class the sir 160 72 round drum the nst the diod 70 laser and the siege wire stock remember tuning is going to be irrelevant here and we have on the stun grenade the proximity mine 
and for the perks double time scavenger resupply quick fix and for the field upgrades pro enabled with munitions box and dead silence you can't go wrong here this class setup is going to be amazing make sure you guys go ahead and check this out right now if you're looking for a badass smg and if for whatever reason you don't like the lockman sub for class setup number five we're taking a look at the iso 45 which is also going to be an amazing submachine gun this is borderline and ar smg hybrid so if you guys want to utilize this class setup we are going to use a rear grip which is going to be that exp shear to bump up that sprint to fire speed as well as aim down sight speed in order to go ahead and get that first shot and guarantee that kill and for the tuning we are going to be increasing that sprint to fire speed some more at negative 0.23 and more recoil steadiness at plus 0.90 overall a great attachment tune combo definitely a good attachment to run on again any type of ar smg hybrids now we are going to rock a stock and the demo fade tack is going to be a good option here sometimes you can rock that torrent span 9 if you really need that additional recoil control but overall just having increased aim walking speed and sprint speed i personally feel is definitely a better attachment on this smg now for the tuning we are going to be increasing the aim walking speed at negative 1.16 and do not forget the aim down sight speed at negative 3.37 overall a great attachment tune combo you can't go wrong here it's just going to be a badass attachment to wrap this class now for the optic we are not going to use anything now personally i like the iron sights on this iso on the hemlock i always run an optic but for the submachine gun version i like to use the iron sights now we're also skipping over the laser these just don't get any love for any of my class tips typically but for the barrel this is going to be great because we do have an integrated sound suppressor with the 16 inch xlbs which is overall going to be great giving us that sound suppression full of velocity recoil control as well as damage range everything we need to go ahead and kind of transform the submachine gun into more of an assault rifle now for the tuning we are going to be bumping up aim down sight speed at negative 0.3 and more recoil steadiness at plus 0.27 now the muzzle obviously is going to be restricted here because we already have one integrated and we are going to utilize the commando foregrip again to further smooth up that recoil pattern giving us a very easy to use submachine gun at any and all ranges here you can go ahead and rock the shark fin 90 but in all reality i do like to have that stability and more of the recoil stabilization as well for this for the tuning we are going to be bumping up aim walking speed at negative 0.35 and more stabilization at plus 0.62 and then finally we are going to go ahead and rock the 45 round drum because why not we have an additional attachment slot once you go ahead and jump in the firing range you are going to be very happy because we have a class setup that is overall going to have a quick ads and it's going to be a melt machine even with a fast reload so definitely go ahead and give it a try the iso 45 is something to not sleep on now we have the FTAC Siege, again, kind of a two for one, two SMGs in one class. So 160 rear grip, the 72 round drum, the NST-81 barrel, the FTX DN-70 laser, as well as the Siege wire stock. And we are running the stun grenade, the proximity mine, and for the perks, we have on double time scavenger, resupply, quick fix, as well as the field upgrades, munitions box, and dead silence. Overall, an amazing class that you guys cannot go wrong with. The ISO 45 and Lockman Sub are definitely some of the top tier SMGs in the game. These are going to be the top five fastest killing guns you guys should check out right now here in Modern Warfare 2. If you guys actually did see all the weapons I did include in this video, including uh, some of the DLC weapons, except the cast off, all have double XP active on them right now. So if you don't have these guns leveled up, now is the time to go ahead and do so so you can drop some nukes. If there are two subs I want you guys to check out right now, definitely go ahead and give the STB a go. Definitely a underrated assault rifle and also obviously the iso 45 it's brand new and it simply kicks ass so if you guys enjoy and tear it up let me know down in the comment section and as always drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel turn those post notifications it's been your boy ears and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video Deuces.